Well, I'm very pleased to be here as Mayor of North Shore City to advise that the new incoming council for the 0809 year has struck an average rates rise of 5.9%. Uh, this compares to what was predicted to be an 8.4% rate rise before, so we've managed to shave that back considerably under this new council. This hasn't been easy, and it's been an exercise over the last six or seven months uh, since the elections uh, to ensure that we were able to deliver on our promise at the elections uh, to make this city more affordable and more reasonable uh, for our ratepayers. Priorities for this council continue to be, of course, wastewater and the cleanliness of our, our streams and our beaches and our waterways. We're in, embarking on a new $113 million outfall tunnel that goes out to the Rangitoto ch Channel. This will be absorbing $60 million of funds this year out of a $73 million wastewater budget. So it's a very, very major part of our program for infrastructure. Public transport and our roading network also continue to be of a high priority and we are, we are continuing to roll out our transit lanes and our connections to the northern busway across North Shore City. This is most important to help congestion problems on many of our major intersections and arterial routes. This is a priority as are all public transport measures and the Council continues to put significant funding towards that. And parks, beaches and sports fields continue to be taking up a great deal of our money. $21 million this year is budgeted for that to make sure that we continue to be the lifestyle healthy city that North Shore is known for. We place a high priority on the well-being of our city and our citizens and being able to partake in good healthy lifestyle options and that will continue to be a process this council will put a high priority on. Coupled with that we have across the board looked for operational and expenditure savings uh, throughout the council and this has been achieved through our management uh, reviewing all processes of council. We're also looking to improve on our contracts and delivery of contracts for our major infrastructure works and again we're looking for savings there and as well we are looking to uh, defer some major projects more in line with our ability to deliver on those projects therefore not impacting so greatly on our immediate rate take. And this new council under my mayoralty is also placing a great deal of increased emphasis on community awareness and community spirit and participation by our groups across the North Shore in the healthy lifestyle of the city in terms of the cultural, arts, music and social well-being of the city. We have increased the community grants fund by 10%, adding about $170,000 to this fund this year, which takes it up close to a million dollars. This will greatly help many of the community groups across the shore who help the fabric of our society on the shore be such a great place. And in terms of this social responsibility area, the Council is very mindful of problems across our city with funding for many of our community groups. In this respect, we have added $100,000 to a special fund to assist community groups who are undertaking building projects or development projects where they're being levied developer levies by the council. This $100,000 will help offset some of those community projects by not having to pay the same amount and proportion of levies that they would have in the past. At the same time, our state integrated schools, and we have about six of them on the North Shore, have now become exempt from these developer levies. Again, this was impacting on some of our major colleges like Carmel College and Rossmany and others who have major building projects on the go. And we do not, as a council, wish to continue having this anomaly where a state integrated school uh, is treated in any different manner to a full state college. And we're also very mindful of the need to put the word local back into local government and moving more and more responsibility across to our community boards to deliver at, co at local community level. In this regard, one of the first initiatives is a new fund of $60,000 being transferred across to the community boards to administer local events at local level. It will mean that each of the community boards and through their community coordinators can help deliver events at local level which are, mu are much more meaningful to the community and where the communities have a much greater role 
in how those events are staged. It's most important that people understand the reason why we have changed the Treasury management policy to repay assets over a 50-year period, whereas before they were repaid over 30 years. This is because many of our assets are of a very long duration, such as the new sewage pipe which is being built, costing over $100 million, but which will have a 100-year life expectancy. Much of our other major infrastructure similarly has 50 years plus of useful life, and therefore it's important that the benefit from those assets are spread and the payment for those assets are spread over several generations, not just all falling on this current generation to pick up the tab for that. This has been adopted by this new council. It's been a, a recommendation from the Shan Inquiry uh, commissioned by the government, and we believe it's the right thing to do for a healthier city that everyone can benefit from. We're about to start into the 0809 financial year with a great deal of infrastructure development required and programs across the North Shore to deliver to our community. I can assure you, however, this council is going to be very, very mindful of spending every ratepayer dollar in the very best manner it can be, looking to eliminate all wastage and ensuring that we have the very best efficiency in our operating expenditure. We are very, very mindful that we are the governors of the ratepayer's purse and we'll make sure that you get best value for your ratepayer dollar, whatever the council is delivering.